Hey everybody, it's Quinn here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install XDK Build on your RGH Xbox 360. Let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is go download JRunner with extras. As you can see right here, I'm on the Phantom Mod repo. This is where all continued development for JRunner will be. But what you want to do is go to the Octal 450 repo and download JRunner with extras.zip. This is a relatively small file, so it'll be done pretty quick. Next, you're going to want to head to the DigiX link provided to download XEX Menu 1.1. I'm ch use the live version, it'll show up in your demos folder on your Xbox. Anyways, this will take a little bit to download, so next we can just go and download Simple 360 NAND Flasher from Console Mods. It'll be done pretty much instantly. This is the program we'll actually be using to flash our modified XDK build image to our RGH system. Alright, now at this point, we're actually good to get a USB drive set up, so plug it in, right click, and click format, you're going to want it as FAT32, set your volume label to really whatever you want, I chose Xbox for mine, hit enter, and there will be a warning, just click OK, and it'll start the process of formatting the drive for you, make sure you don't have any important data on that drive. So anyways, now we can actually open File Explorer and go to our downloads folder and start extracting all the programs we just downloaded. So I'm going to start with JRunner with extras. I use 7-Zip personally, but really you could use any extraction software like WinRAR or PZip or whatever. Anyways, now with that extracted, I'm just going to drag it somewhere convenient like my desktop. That's usually where I put this stuff. However, really anywhere works. Next, we're going to extract Simple360 NAND Flasher. Like I said, this is the program we'll, that we'll be using to actually flash and make dumps of our console's NAND so that in case anything goes wrong in the process, it's recoverable. So anyways, I'm just going to go into the Simple360 folder, copy it, and paste it onto the root of our Xbox USB drive. Nothing too rocket science here. Anyways, while we're here, just go to View, Show, and enable hidden items and file name extensions. Okay, so now we're good to also extract our XEX menu copy. So there's going to be a first level of extraction we have to do just for the base archive. So once you get that extracted, what you're going to do is you're going to extract the live version of the program within the archive you just extracted and extract that. You'll get this code 0009 that I forget the name of it. Anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to copy this folder and we're not just going to paste it on the root of our flash drive. We're actually going to have to make a folder called content. This is how the Xbox 360 knows that it's our flash drives, like data folder for games and stuff. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make a new folder and you can count to do this. Make sure you count one by one. You're going to name it 16 zeros. I don't know why it's like this. This is just how its file system is set up. Anyways, you're going to go into that folder and paste your code folder, which has the, uh, the XEX menu app in it. Okay, now with most of what we need copied to our drive, we can inject it and move over to our console. Okay, now that we're over at the Xbox, head over to your game section and plug in your USB. You will see XEX menu 1.1 at this point. Just hit back if you don't have a profile signed in, and now you'll be in XEX menu. Use the bumper to go over to your USB drive and click Simple360 NAND Flashers folder and hit default.xex. Once you're in here, it'll ask you to dump your NAND. Press X to do this and it will automatically dump it for you. Alright, so now that the dumping process has finished, you can hit start to close the program, and now you are safe to actually 
turn off your console, unplug your USB drive, go back over to your computer, plug it in there, and we're good to go. Okay, so now that we're back over to the computer, head over to your USB drive, and you are going to go back to the simple 360 folder. Select your CPU key.txt and your flash dmp.bin. Copy these files to somewhere safe on your computer. I just chose my desktop, I made a folder for my NAND backup, but really anywhere that you're not going to lose this file, Now, with that copied into our folder, we can actually get to the process where we make our dev kit NAND. So what you're going to do is you're going to go open JRunner with extras, and on your first startup of the program, if you've never used it before, it's going to have you download Visual C++ Redistributable. This is just so that the program can run and operate fine. Okay, so now JRunner is actually going to open up and we can get to this process. First, you're going to click load source and we're going to go to that flash dmp.bin that we obtained from our USB drive earlier. Next, go to the 17559 drop down box and choose 17489. Choose the glitch 2M radio button and RGH30. It'll automatically select the XDK build option for us. Now you can click create XE build to build our NAND image for the system. Alright, now that that's done, we can go back to our JRunner folder, open the folder with your console serial number, and copy upd flash dot bin. Now go back to our simple 360 NAND flasher folder, and you can paste this file in here. Okay, so this next step is only if you have a 16 meg NAND. Go to XE build 17489 and copy 17489FS and paste it onto the root of your flash drive. The reason we need this is because if you have a 16 meg NAND, your console will not boot. For this video, I'm using a 4 gig MMC Corona as the console I'm doing this on, so I'm literally just copying this over just to show you guys because I don't want to put you in a situation where your console just won't start up after this process. Now you can eject your flash drive and for the final steps we can go back to the Xbox. Okay so now that we're back on the Xbox we're gonna head back over to games and launch XEX menu. Now the first thing we're gonna want to do is get that 17489FS folder copied. So what you're going to do for that is you are going to hit the Y button and hit A to copy. Next, you're going to hit X, go down to HDD1, and hit Y, and then hit Paste. Simple enough, I know, right? So when that's done, now the fun part begins. You are going to hit X, and then go back to your USB drive. Okay, now that we're back on the USB, we can open Simple 360 NAND Flasher for the final time. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit A to flash our upd flash.bin file to the console, then hit start. And it will start imaging our XDK build image to the console's NAND. Now that that's done, our console will reboot into our XDK build environment. And congratulations guys, now you were Xbox 360, whether it be an RGH 1.2, RGH 3, do note if you have a glitch chip you need different timing files now, but you have an Xbox 360 quote unquote test kit. So hopefully you enjoy some of the stuff you can do with this. I know there's that leaked Call of Duty game, that Golden I 007 Xbox Live leak. But over overall I really hope this helped you guys out and to get you going with dev kit stuff on your Xbox. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.